South Carolina, Nevada, Texas, Missouri, California, New Mexico. Who lives in New Mexico? Mississippi, North Carolina, Arkansas, and Florida. God damn, Florida. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you guys for joining each and every time you guys decide to join me, but I got another one for you today. Yes, yes I do. I've been holding out on this video and this is a sensitive subject for me um, because I want to tell you how you can keep your motorcycle safe. I had a bike stolen from me back in the day. <laughs> hey, I left it outside. I live in Florida. It is what it is. I just named for you the top 10 states that have motorcycles that like the highest rate of motorcycle theft and i'm not surprised by most of them i mean a couple of them mexico i never knew mexico actually i never knew they were stealing bikes like that the statistics show from like per 1000 registered motorcycles it's a uh, another percentage uh 20 out of a thousand um 15 it was just all different and it basically just showed the top 10 states and I, you know, I knew Florida was going to make it because you can't keep nothing if it ain't bolted down around here, man. It is what it is. I want you guys to know how you can keep your bike, man. If you're just now starting out on a Harley, a uh, big, expensive, $20,000, $30,000, even $50,000 uh, bagger like this, how you keep it safe? Well, let's start with the just the bare bone basics, guys. So, guys, the first way to save these bikes from getting stolen, as soon as you buy it, before you leave that, that dealership, Ask them how to change the PIN number. Okay, most thieves know if they're a Harley thief, um, they know they can look at your VIN number and figure out your PIN number. I'm not gonna get too in detail on it, but it happens all the time. Guy, you could take your key with you, your, your key fob, you can go out and you could go eat and you can leave your bike in the parking lot and come back and it'll be gone. And these guys don't have to lift it, they don't have to roll it away, they can actually ride it away. So the second thing you need to do is take your key fob with you and make sure you lock that wheel. Guys, if you are at the beach, if you're somewhere, you're going to eat lunch and you're on a bike, at least turn that wheel, lock the ignition, take your key with you. That's one of the most common things guys forget. They forget where they put the key fob, just get off the bike with their buddies and go have a good time, come back, your bike's gone. The chance of you getting it back, eh, very, very slim to none. All right, now that you pretty much understand locking the wheel, changing the pin number, the third thing you need to do is go to the dealer and get yourself an audible alarm. I'm gonna demonstrate how my audible alarm sounds by trying to move my bike and I'll let you guys hear it. Well, all right guys, my key is away from the bike. I'm gonna get on her real quick and you should hear her make some noise. There she goes. Let's move her a little bit. You hear her again? Let's move her again. Now we got the alarm going off. That's the audible alarm. Now you want to shut it down. You bring your key close and it shuts it down. All right, guys. So you see how the alarm system works. It's 90 bucks. I'll post a picture of it up here. Um, 90 bucks. Get you one audible. If you're in one of those quiet spaces or quiet places and you just have the bike there and you'll be able to hear it and maybe a crowd of people will be able to hear it and it kind of will deter somebody from trying to take off with your bike. Now, Thieves are brave. They'll steal in front of everybody. So if you know you have an alarm, just be looking out for your bike. <laughs> All right, so this is for the guy that likes to take those trips out of town, okay? You're taking miles and miles and miles on a trip, day trip, whatever. You're not coming back in the same day. Do yourself a favor. Instead of just going and getting the regular uh, motel, hotel, try and get yourself an Airbnb with a garage. But the garage has to be accessible. Remember, these people still kind of like live in those places every now and then, so they'll lock the garage. Just make sure you message them. Is the garage accessible? Yes. There's nothing worse than having your bike sit outside, especially in a neighborhood that you don't know that well, and you don't know if your motorcycle is going to be there in the morning. So do yourself a favor. First things first, book that Airbnb. Get yourself somewhere where you can keep those motorcycles safe. So my guys who are trailering, okay this is gonna be a long one um if you are trailering there's a few tricks i do use uh when i do trailer my bike and i do feel like i'm not gonna take it off maybe even in that day first of all i leave the trailer hooked up to my truck at all points and all times okay i'll lock it i, I use a u-lock uh where the lock actually slides so close up it's hard to get in there and cut it with a set of bolt cutters 
It can be done, I'm sure. I don't know if thieves want the whole trailer that bad, but I leave the bike on the trailer sometimes because if he's gonna try and take it, it's gonna, he's gonna catch hell. I'm gonna U-lock. Let me show you guys, get yourself a U-lock. I'm gonna U-lock this to my wheel chalk. So my wheel to my wheel chalk is all locked together. Now you can't even lift it. Thieves are opportunists. If they see something that's easy, they know bikes are gonna be in an area, Daytona, Sturges, all these different places, they're gonna prey on it, but they're only gonna prey on the simplest and easiest to get. The next thing I wanna tell you guys about, if that is the case, let's say you do have to get a hotel. The lowest man on a totem pole parks on the outsides. The most expensive bikes go on the inside to try and detour somebody from getting the most expensive bikes. You wanna do that because if those bikes on the outside get stolen, their insurance pays it off nice and easy. If your bike gets stolen and you have as much as I have into this bike and you might have thousands tied into it and if you don't have the right insurance, which we'll get to later, then you're stuck. You're SOL, you're not gonna get the money back for the accessories that you have put in there. So now we jam all these bikes together. They're not comfortable <laughs> by a long shot, but we're parking at a hotel. Remind you, do not park your bike by itself. Always try and park with your buddies or somebody you know, keep those bikes together. If those bikes on the outside get moved, you know, somehow, some way you might get saved by somebody noticing something. It will take a thief just that much longer and he's not gonna wanna do it. So you parked at the hotel, lock everything down. Guys, I'm talking lock saddlebags, lock wheel, lock everything and take all your accessories off. Anything that you can take off these motorcycles, whether it's your tour pack, whether if you can't take your seat off, take off the, anything that's easily, easy to steal. So we're all parked together. We locked everything down. The next thing you should be thinking about is locks themselves. Now I got two locks, I, guys, I tell you. I have a U-lock, can go on the front wheel. I don't wanna put a disc lock on my bike because I might forget. I know they come with a strap, but if you move that bike forward, it tends to scratch and scuff things. Sometimes you don't remember. But the next thing we have is a front brake lock. I'll pull it out real quick. This is what it looks like. It goes here, it just clamps it. So now the guy can't move the bike forward. I got red because I want somebody to see it. Two keys come with it. I don't know this company to call Big Panda. You know, they it, it, it basically does what I need it to do. I'll open it up to show you real quick. There we go. Pull it and then you turn it and now you're locked. What you want to think about, guys, is just a deterrent. Nothing stops a thief but another thief. If he's like, hey, I don't like the situation here. I don't want to take too much time to try and get that bike where we can get these easy bikes. That's what you kind of want. If you're with a group of guys, run a chain through some of these bikes. I know it's so old school, but remember, it's about the deterrent. So you put the, a chain through two bikes. I would only do two bikes at a time. I would run a chain through like five bikes, just two bikes. They'll look, they'll see, it's not worth it. Let's go look for something a little bit more easier. Guys, when you're at the hotel, please, 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 park your bike in the most visible spot you can, under lights or in the front of the building, in front of the doors. The opening doors, that's the safest place for your bike because I don't think anybody's likely to go up to just your specific bike and say, I, I want this one, I don't care who's around and I'm gonna take off on it. That gotta be all those other mechanisms as well, what makes it, that much harder for them to get that bike. Guys, I'll say it again. There's no 100% way to stop a thief. I don't care where the bike's at, what you have locked to the bike, what you have tied to the bike. But let's say, God forbid, they do get your bike. Well, the next thing I wanna tell you is get yourself one of these. iPhone guys know exactly what this is. This is an AirTag. Um, an air tag is just basically a tracking system. You hide one, two, maybe even three on your bike. So just in case this thing does get taken, you can track it. If it does move far enough away from your phone, it will alert you that it's moving or that it's not in range for the normal range that you're usually in. It's not home. Once you see that, you can then track it. Guys, be aware. If they know that you have one of those trackers on, they're going to look for it. As they're moving that bike, they're gonna be looking for it. When they get that bike there, they're gonna take it apart. They're really gonna be looking. If they find one, thieves aren't smart. They might just give up. Okay, we think we got it. Take it. They'll probably take it and throw it in the ocean or something. But they don't know it's two more on there that they got to find. And that's when your, 
you're tracking it down and you're calling 911 to go and get your bike back, um, it's highly likely that they do know you'll have one on there. Now, Android guys, I believe you have something different. You can use a tile, a few tiles, like I said, hide them all over the bike. Don't just put them in a simple of places. Um, even if you have it in a saddle bag and the saddle bag is locked, guys, trust me, they'll get it off. They'll get rid of all that stuff. Remember, three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, that's prime time, that's dinner time for these thieves. Last but not least, guys get insurance. I don't care what bike you have. If you have payments on that bike, you need to have insurance on that bike because there's nothing worse than paying for something that you don't even own anymore. If you have a lot of money in your bike, especially, get custom motorcycle insurance because they give you a little bit more. They kind of do an appraisal of the bike and what you have into it. So in that case, if it does come up missing, you guys already have some kind of agreement of how much they can pay you out to help you pay that bike off. Guys, that's all I got for you today. I hope it enlightened somebody out there. I hope I got through to somebody and I hope I kind of detoured some thieves on what we know and what we're going to do to keep our bikes. But guys, if you got any questions, comments, nice comments on this video, drop it down in the comment section. But until the next time, guys, peace.